to God. Welcome back, excellent sons and daughters of the Most High, to the Rhapsody of Realities. Today, the article for the 5th of November dives deep into the Holy Communion entitled, A Formal Proclamation of His Death. Hallelujah. Reading our opening verse in John chapter 6, verse 53, it says, Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man, and drink his blood, you have no life in you. In 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 23 to 26, Paul shares an important revelation he received from the Lord. He recounts the events of the night the Lord Jesus was betrayed, highlighting the profound significance of the Holy Communion. Although John's account of that night does not explicitly mention the communion, it provides valuable insights into other significant details. On that night, Paul narrates, Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Similarly, he took the cup after supper saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. As often as you drink it, do it in remembrance of me. Through partaking in the communion, we announce or proclaim the Lord's death until he comes again. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he come. And that's in 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 26. The word show in the verse above carries a profound meaning. It is translated from the Greek word katagelio which goes beyond simply displaying or showing something. It conveys the idea of declaring or announcing. When we eat the bread and drink the cup, we are making a formal declaration and proclamation. The significance of the communion lies in its connection to the last testament or will of Jesus Christ. The last will of a person before their death holds tremendous importance. Therefore, when we partake of the bread and cup, we are not only participating in a symbolic act, but also declaring and announcing the New Testament, the final will of the Lord. Hallelujah! In that will, Jesus bequeaths His wealth, rights and privileges to us. He delivered everything to us. That will is now in force. Glory to God. The beauty of it all lies in His resurrection. The resurrection of Jesus ensures that no one can cheat us out of the blessings and provisions of His will. Blessed be God. Hallelujah. Can you imagine an eternal testament was enacted that can never be reversed or changed and it was bequeathed to you and me. Praise God. Let us now partake in this prayer together as we repeat after me. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your vicarious sacrifice. In the New Testament established through your blood. Therefore, I emphasize my victory over Satan, the world and its elements. I have eternal victory and dominion over sin, sickness, disease, death, and the devil. Amen. Glory to God. Here are scriptures for you to study and meditate on as given by Pastor Chris, so you may note the following. Hebrews chapter 9 verses 15 to 17 and 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verses 23 to 26 in the Amplified Classic Translation. Blessed be the Lord. We trust that the word that has been coming to you has built you up tremendously. If this is your first time joining us, we encourage you to take advantage of this platform where you receive God's word like this every day to build your faith strong and continue to proliferate in your city and nation throughout this year. 
If you would like to be a sponsor or be part of the TNI, the Translators Network International, where we work together to make Rhapsody of Realities available in every language and format, kindly visit www.tniglobal.org for more information. And remember to join in live for the Global Communion Service this evening with our Man of God, Pastor Chris, at 10pm Malaysia time on www.lovewallsat.org. God bless you. received salvation if you've never received Christ into your heart if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about this is your moment say these words say oh Lord God I believe in Jesus Christ the Son of God I believe he died to save me I believe God raised him from the dead and he's alive today. I confess with my mouth Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in him I receive eternal life into my heart into my spirit thank you lord for saving my soul i have eternal life now i'm a child of god now i am born again thank you lord if you just said that prayer along with pastor chris congratulations welcome to the family of god Rhapsody of Realities Give me your life for meaning every day My life made perfect with Rhapsody